Hello guys and welcome to another video on my channel. Yes, we are back at the World War II Woods. Sorry for the loud road noises. <laughs> I think this will become a staple thing <laughs> because, well, this forest is just too great. Last time, definitely check out last video if you haven't already. We found amazing stuff. A German eagle from a visor cap, which was absolutely mind blowing. And yeah, we're back at this location. Um, if you notice, the camera has gotten an upgrade. I've gotten a new, um, I've bought a new phone, and this can record in 1080p 60 FPS. So the videos should be a lot cleaner now. It also got a really good camera, I think. So yeah, that's absolutely amazing, as well um, as a new tripod. Yeah, I brought a new tripod because I broke my um, last one a couple episodes ago, but. That's whatever. So guys, um, I actually tried the location on the other side of the road, but it was just so... The vegetation was so bad, like these bushes were everywhere. You couldn't take a swing anywhere. So I just thought, let's check out the area we already went to. And I went back to the first area um, from the first episode. And <laughs> look what I found by accident. Remember, if you watched the first episode, when I thought I found a bomb, <laughs> well, someone was kind enough to let me know in the comments that this is not explosive. Um, it is, well, these are German gas mask filters, so that's really cool. Um, I forgot what these are called, carbon pellets. Not too sure, but the things that purify the air. So yeah, I got them out of the hole. I found this by accident, which was really cool. So yeah, two German gas mask filters. I hope we are, we can be successful today as well. Um, I think there's no way we can top last video with the eagle, but yeah, let's see what we can find, guys. Okay, so quick update. Um, I just found um, a lot of iron fragments of something. Um, yeah, it wasn't really the best location. So I walked back to the wall because this is where our success was last time. <clears throat> and look what still came up. So ammo, I'm gonna rebury, just figured I'd show you, all for the K98. Some trash, modern trash also, as well as these things. First of all, gas mask eye ring, um, still complete I think, so that's pretty cool. Um, come on, focus. Can you focus please? Thank you. Um, this thing, I don't know what it is, but... It gave off a pretty decent signal, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Another thing, um, kind of round, so... I don't know, round things are always good. <laughs> um, not too sure what this might be. Gave off a pretty good signal as well. Some tip, I don't know, fragment, and this. So, um, I actually found a couple of these um, last time I went here. Come on, focus. Um, I don't know what they are, I think they, they are way too small to be from a buckle. Um, but yeah, they are as well pretty good signal and they look kind of special. So I don't know um, what it could be. Um, if you know, write a comment, would really appreciate that. But still so many more signals in the wall. <laughs> I think I might um, go to the location where we found the eagle and see if there is more. Well, and once again, I'm speechless. Speechless here, yeah, my English very good. Um, no, <laughs> I found nothing at the beginning, only iron trash, but man, this location really pays off. It's blessed. So let me show you. First of all, two Carcano rounds I found next to each other, and these, I believe, might be STG44 rounds. I'm not 100% sure on that, but they are made out of steel, so they look like one um, I have never seen them in real life but from um, from a memory from photos that might be for the SGG 44 so next up two more gas mask eye rings as well as this actually pretty good condition um, mouthpiece filter piece where you attach the filters I believe so they were almost just on the surface just um, below the grass didn't even have to use my spade and these things again so they came up with the eye rings um, as well, so they might have to do something with the gas mask, not too sure. And this thing, so I am not really sure, it's made out of glass. There's something in between, it's, I don't know, um, this thing was around it, so I have no idea what that is. It's not, it's not the glass for the, for the eyepiece, it's something, something different, but 
guys, that's not what I wanted to show you. <laughs> you would probably hate me right now because I'm so lucky, but look what came up again. It's another eagle. Guys, this location is blessed and this isn't, this is really close to where I found the first one, so man, this is super amazing. Let me, oh man, my shadow's blocking the view, so look at that. I think this one is made out of a different material, probably aluminium, um, because it's white and it gave off a different signal, but look at that. Let me actually put the spade right here so my shadow isn't blocking the view. Look at this, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. Another one. <laughs> Man, I can't believe my luck right now. I should probably use the tripod because of the shaking, but this is so cool. Um, there is some corrosion on it on the right wing here and on the swastika there. Um, and I, I forgot my brush at home, so that's why it is not fully cleaned up. I just um, used a little stick to remove most of the dirt, but man, <coughs> what can I say? I'm so speechless. This is again amazing relic, amazing relic, amazing location. I will show you some pictures again. I don't know what to say. I think we just continue, I guess. And it's super close to um, the little path here through the forest, so I don't know what's up with that, but I'm gonna investigate. <sighs> Guys, leave a like, <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. Do it for the eagle, please. <laughs> so yeah, see you at the next find. Okay, this location is really interesting, so I'm pretty sure this is where um, most of the soldiers dump their personal items and stuff, or just in general put on their stuff, because, I mean, this is right next to the wall. The wall's just, I don't know, 10 meters from here, so they, as we figured out last time, they probably set up a camp here and, yeah, left most of the stuff behind. So, um, kind of, yeah, just scrap metal, I guess huge items not too sure what these might be from looks kind of like from a vehicle not too sure um, I won't be taking these but still interesting nonetheless I also found some um, ceramics so that was really interesting it was in a hole with some ammo so no markings unfortunately but that's worth noticing as well as this thing I have no idea what that might be let's put it here I don't know it at first I thought like maybe here trigger for a pistol, but it looks way different. I don't know what that is. Um, really nice K98 clip. Um, found that with some bullets I reburied already. So I'm gonna take the clip. Um, this thing might be modern. Um, don't really know what you call this. Um, it's like, you know, these things you can use for a variety of stuff. Um, as well as these were actually really close to the eagle. Um, come on, focus. The right one is a coin. Um, I think one Reichsfennig. Um, again, these are made out of zinc, so you can't make anything out. Really corroded, but still, coins are always nice. And this one is actually my very first Wehrmacht button. Come on, focus, there we go. It's in a pretty bad condition. Oh man. <laughs> Got a spider crawling in my in my shirt. Um, um, yeah, it's my first one. Not the best condition. Gonna clean it up at home. But um, buttons are also like coins. Always nice to find. And this, I am not sure. Um, it's a really small cartridge. A small bullet here. I've never seen a small one like this. So if you know um, for what gun this might be, write a comment below. Don't know. It's, really really small as you can see but um yeah really cool finds so far um i'm detecting right next to the small um, path here so there are lots of signals mostly ammo but as you can see some interesting ones so i hope we can maybe find some more buttons coins on who knows what's left here 
Alright guys, small intermission, um, because at this point, right after the button, I think it was, I found something absolutely amazing. And I didn't film it because at the time it was really, really dirty and I didn't really know what it was. And I only realized what it was after cleaning most of um, the dirt up. And just let me just show you what I found. It's absolutely amazing. It's a World War II German dog tag and it's actually made of aluminium. Um, most of the ones I think are made out of zinc, some, I don't, I don't really know, I don't know much about dog tags, but this is my first one and I didn't find it like this, I found it bent like you could, I basically I've heard, at first I thought I only find, found a half one, um, but it turns out it was just bent like that and I tore it open with a knife um, as I arrived home. And yeah, that is so. I didn't bother um, bending it over the whole way because it felt like it was not gonna break because these are supposed to break at these points. So yeah, but you can still make out what it says. I did only clean up the back, left the front in its original condition. So let me show you guys. This is just amazing. This is German Red Cross dog tag, which was actually issued to medics and nurses during World War II. And I didn't even know these existed until the, I found this. And I, I mean, this is my first dog tag I've ever found. And it's such a rare one. At least I think it's rare because I didn't know these existed till now. So that's just absolutely amazing. Let me show you what it says. It says, focus, it says Freiwillige Krankenpflege, Werkkreis 2, number 879. So that translates to something like voluntary nursing, Werkkreis 2. So just for some context, a Werkkreis is an area which the Reich was divided up into. Don't really know how many there were, about 10, a bit more, about 10, I think. Um, and in a Werkkreis, the Werkkreis was basically responsible for the recruitment and training of soldiers for the Wehrmacht. I read that some time ago, not too sure, but um, it says no name on this, not on the back, not in the front. So that's quite interesting, only this identification number. But man, this is such an amazing find. I, I think this is as good as the Eagle. So man, guys, leave a like, subscribe, and let's continue with the video. Okay, so I have a little theory here. So remember um, last time we found like I don't know, 12 of the 20 millimeter British aircraft casings around here. There was exactly around here. And my theory is um, the British aircraft attacked the Wehrmacht um, in these parts of the woods and then the Wehrmacht fled right into this a little bit uh, more protected um, wood area. So I think these are called um, pine trees and this spruce i'm not too sure so <clears throat> but as you can see they're a little bit um yeah it's a little bit harder to see people from above so i might um detect in this forest here so maybe um they have lost some stuff here as well because again british aircraft um two huge bolts i don't know for vehicle i don't know just Huge bolts, as well as some round item. I'm not too sure what that is. <coughs> First of all, like a little pocket watch, but it's made out of iron, so I don't know. And then, guys, a little bit more dangerous find. Um, I have no idea what kind of um, explosive this is, but it's definitely dangerous because look at it. Uh, it's really corroded. Uh, I hate that. It's really dangerous, so... I don't know, maybe anti-tank, I don't know, so if you know what that is, really appreciate if you could leave a comment and let me know, but that's gonna go really deep again, because stuff like that's really dangerous. So I'm gonna detect in this area a little bit more, maybe we can find some more traces of World War II. We are most definitely onto something, guys. First. That's where I reburied. I'm gonna cover it with a little bit more grass, don't worry, but that's where we found <clears throat> the explosive just now. And look what was right next to it. 
it's a freaking mortar guys <laughs> just to comparison that's a pinpointer i think that's about 15 centimeters the whole thing you can see the fins here i think that's called the fins it's called leitwerk in german but these are the fins and this is the mortar and what got me really surprised is that <laughs> look at that <clears throat> these are um soup um, containers i don't think they're world war ii actually but they were lying just on top of the mortar so whoever dumped them here um must have seen, seen this mortar but maybe they are world war ii but i don't know that is amazing <laughs> most people would hate to find something like this but this is a world war ii mortar just laying there I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's really dangerous, but I just stuck with my hands, so that wasn't really a risk. I I usually only dig with my hands in World War II areas just because of this. Um, if you hit this with a um, huge spade, you're most likely gonna blow up, so <laughs> be a little bit careful if you dig around World War II stuff. <sighs> gonna mark this location and report it later on, because this is dangerous and it's... man... It's crazy nonetheless. So I can now say I have found a World War II mortar. So that's pretty cool. On to the next one. Well, my theory might come out to be true. I just discovered a small dugout over there. So I'm gonna inspect that just after this clip. And plus I really enjoy digging in this forest because there are no nasty bushes around. Man, my, 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 my pants are um, scattered with spikes of these stupid bushes and it really hurts but Man, that's the price we pay for this awesome hobby. But um, yeah, another British 20mm casing. Just figured I'd show you. And um, as well, I thought I, I said I only dig with my hands in World War II um, areas. Well, not completely only with my hands. Um, it really depends on the signal. Um, for the multi cruiser, most of the explosives come in at 10 to 25. At least from my experience, it varies um and it depends on the explosive as well so yeah uh, that's different for every detector but when i see a signal that's kind of questionable in this range i only dig with my hands because <laughs> i really like my hands and i don't want to lose them so yeah be careful guys um yeah i hope we can find some more cool stuff around here so that is the dugout unfortunately only found one cartridge in there so yeah nothing of interest there but guys <laughs> i actually found something really interesting i haven't seen in this condition it's not a really cool find again dangerous but oh come on branch so look at that that's a live 20 millimeter flak and it's in really, really good condition. Do you will see that? I've never found a uh, live flag in this condition. It's really dangerous, but look at the condition. Man, that is amazing. And it wasn't even that deep, so... Unfortunately, until now, just ammo in this um, little forest area. And modern trash, a lot of modern trash, actually, but... Man, let's see what else comes up. Alright guys, so I think with that I want to conclude this video. Um, between the last clip and now, um, I think about an hour passed, so didn't make many more finds. Um, I found like three or four more British 20 mil, but by now I think you've seen enough of them. <laughs> as well as uh, some iron pieces, some more cartridges, but nothing i haven't shown in this video before so um yeah um if you haven't subscribed please do so that would really help um i think i might actually do a giveaway at 100 subs um i think we are at 38 right now so maybe a little giveaway at 100 and yeah today was i think it was quite so successful we found some um cool smaller relics and the eagle <laughs> was obviously legendary but I kind of feel like the signals are getting less less. I mean, of course, um, as I'm detecting here over and over, um, the signals are getting fewer. Um, so I think for next video, I'm actually gonna 
try to visit um, a different location. I have not tested that, um, but yeah, there might be some good stuff over there, but if um, there is no video next week, um, that probably means I just didn't make any finds and the location wasn't that good, but um, I'm gonna try my best to try out as many locations as possible. So thank you for watching, guys. Um, yeah, I wish you great week, great weekend, whatever you, whatever time you're watching the video right now. I can't speak anymore. I'm super exhausted. I'm gonna eat something and then I'm gonna go home. Thank you for watching. Bye.